What's going on everybody? It's your boy Galliman20 and today we're going to be doing another tutorial and this is how to install 5M or 5 Reborn, whatever you guys want to call it. It's a GTA 5 modification that allows you to play GTA online without getting banned and allows you to use modifications such as uh, vehicle mods, um, making them realistic and uh, other things like that. So anyways, let's get started. So first thing sirs, you're going to go to 5m.net and you're going to uh, either click the link down in the description or you can type it in yourself and all you're going to do is click on download client. You're going to read the terms of service, you go through that, you click sure, I agree, thank you, you're awesome, and you get a little snail. And you're going to save it to your desktop and there you go. You're done with that, easy peasy, uh, hopefully everybody can do that, if not, I, I don't know. I don't know. So we get a little icon like this that says 5M and it should look exactly like this. What you guys are going to do here is you are, you are going to right click on your desktop and you're going to click on new. You're going to go to folder and you're going to title that folder 5M. You can title it whatever you want to make it known to what it is. Here is a folder that I use for when I launch 5M. I just call it a 5. So you can call it whatever you want and all you're going to do is take this file you're going to put it in here and then from that point you are going to click on that icon but first you're going to right click on it and you're going to run it as an administrator and you're going to click on yes and after that you are going to go through your uh, it's going to do this updating process. Uh, so I'll show you here in a second because it's going to tell me where my directory is. So I'm going to find mine in this PC, C drive, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then GTA 5. So this right here is uh, for 5M, this is for LSPDFR, and this is for standard multiplayer. If you guys don't have enough space on your computer, I would recommend just having one for multiplayer and one for um, 5M if you just want to do 5M if you can't run LSPDFR um, because if you have LSPDFR and 5M hooked up to the same thing you will get crashes with LSPDFR just to throw that out there I'm going to click on this I'm going to select that folder and then 5M does not support running under elevated privi privileges and it will tell you that um, the game will exit now and you just click ignore uh, okay so there you go. It's going to have two files right here. Application data. <coughs> it's going to have all this. It's going to have the launch folder for applications. And then you have this. So, um, if you guys want to have another tutorial on how to actually get all these plugins and things like this, uh, I can do that as well. Because here, the one on the top left is my original 5M folder that I use and it has a plugins and scripts folder as you see from this one it has nothing like that it only has four folders compared to the six that we have so if you guys want to learn how to put plugins and scripts in and uh, ELS at some point in time please let me know and I can make a tutorial on that um, but yeah this is a most requested video from Country Boy and other people in my discord um, because they want to know how to do it that way they can play along um, on the role play servers that I go on and also try not to get banned of course of course there's some servers out there where we just dick around and um, tryhard is one of those guys who have gotten banned multiple times from servers so <laughs> for doing stupid shit. but yes um, yeah, um, if you guys want a tutorial on that please let me know and uh, we'll go from there so we're going to exit out of here and I'm going to show you guys that this does indeed work. I'm going to bring up my uh, other broadcasting software that way I can show you in game because this one does not allow me to do that without lagging. So I will be right back and I will see you guys over there. Okay so I forgot to mention that uh, when you first click on the button uh, that says 5M you are going to get a message that says uh, to download the game catch because it's missing uh, a lot of stuff so just let it download uh, let it do its thing and then after that you will be you will be brought to this window which is the 5m uh, main menu when you launch it up 
So you got the home page, which has all the information of uh, different updates and things that they have done uh, last couple of days, hours, whatever. So you can read this if you want to. Um, also here are the servers. So nothing right here is in the search bar, but if you wanted to search something, which is a server that I go on a lot, um, this is one of the servers that you can go in. Of course, there's zero player that you can see right here. Um, but yeah, all these servers you can join, but of course you gotta look at the number of players that are in there, because if it's 32, well, of course you cannot join. Uh, there are some servers that have a queue, so if you uh, go into it, then um, you will have to wait a certain amount of time until I guess somebody gets kicked or something like that, and you keep going up until you finally get into the match. Um, I would not recommend doing it. I would just go into a open lobby and see what you can get into. Uh, if they say whitelisted, like this one says whitelisted right here, uh, well it just says police and medics, but if a server says it's whitelisted, then of course you cannot join. Um, like this one, rpfirst.com is uh, whitelisted, so if I were to click on it right now, I would not be able to join. So, uh, gotta look out for that, just join, and uh, yeah. Also you have a history, favorites, rec connect, so if I have favorites, which uh, are all these right here, then uh, yeah, you can go to your favorites bar and just select that and go into it. Uh, direct connect is if they uh, have an IP that uh, you can direct connect to, which is usually for the whitelisted servers. Um, that's the only way I know what this uh, direct connect is about. Settings, you can put a player nickname and things like that, and then enables uh, local host menu item, things like that. Um, but if you guys thought this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content like this one. Don't forget about November 20th. If you have not, don't forget to check out the video that is on my channel and on November 25th. So go down. Last video should be at the end screen. Um, if not, then I shall put it there within the next couple of hours. Well, take care, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.